Today we're going to be doing a electrical wiring project on Bandit here. Um, what I'm going to be doing is adding a voltmeter, an on-off switch. You can see that or not. It's got a uh, waterproof cover on it and a USB connector. I've got, uh, I believe I got all my parts that I'm going to need. I've got this wiring kit that will run from the uh, first thing in the series to uh, the battery and it's got an inline fuse in a waterproof case already all wired in it and that's six foot long. So uh, I got me some wire nuts, uh, some extra pieces and parts from the uh, switches and stuff that I ordered and some black and red wire and wire connectors, the waterproof kind. So what I was going to do was uh, take off all this front panel and mount them up underneath here. Um, I still got to figure out where, where I want everything. I'm going to probably move my RPM and move it over to this side here and have them up above each other and then put my voltmeter over here. Um, that is, if it will fit underneath there. This one has a pretty low clearance on it as far as uh, needing anything, but these other two are pretty long, and so they're going to have to go back down under here. Uh, so this, this uh, RPM will relocate over here with the cylinder head temperature, and then I'll put that voltmeter over here as long as there's clearance. Um, it's going to be a little tricky with the wiring because it's, some of it's going to have to come down through here, and then go through here and then go down to the um, battery in the bottom there. But before I do that, I gotta take off a bunch of different panels and I'm gonna create a separate video for uh, taking off the panels. And so check for that on my channel. But uh, in order to get access to this and get this whole front um, cowl off here, which I haven't done yet uh, on this scooter, you got to start back here at the foot pegs. The foot pegs got to come off. This long piece here has to come off on each side. And then you have to unscrew all this stuff here um, to separate those two pieces. Take off this front uh, V piece here that wraps around with a nut underneath there. And then uh, the whole headlight assembly thing will come off. I'll also, uh, if you want, uh, in order to get it wired up here, I'm going to uh, refer to refer you to some old videos that uh, when I took apart uh, some a lot of the panels off of this thing, just check for them. When I put these uh, Trail Tech uh, items on, you can find that video of uh, getting this top section here taken apart too. So, and I may show some of that as I go along, but that's going to be my next project. Stay tuned. All right, so if you watched my video uh, earlier, um, I showed how to take this front headlight assembly off uh, so we can do our uh, voltmeter and USB uh, port and all that and on-off switch. Um, now we're going to start taking apart this uh, upper assembly up here, uh, which I have shown before um, in pieces and parts. I didn't completely take this apart. Uh, we'll have to see if I can get this put on here without completely taking everything off. But uh, the first thing you do is pop out these uh, little plugs right here. Just stick a pick under there and pop those. There's a little slit, horizontal slit in the side here where you can get those. Right in the middle of that oval. Then there's four 10 millimeter nuts or bolts here to get the uh, shield off. Remove the mirrors with a uh, 
14 millimeter open end wrench. Just loosen this tightening nut up here and then spin them around. There's four screws to remove, one up on the upper here, that's why you remove this mirror, same way with over here, and then with your number two screwdriver, and then one on either side of the uh, bottom side of the speedometer, I guess, best thing to put it. This one here has a hex head on it, and so whenever I'm uh, given the opportunity to use a hex head instead of a Phillips head, that's what I uh, go ahead and use, and this is an 8 millimeter. Okay, theoretically I should be able to remove that. I seem to think, oh yeah, there's two more screws right here and here. So we better get those out. Get those in the bag where they belong. 